Damien, congratulations are in order. Pirates are 2024 Northwest Conference champions, co-champions, but champions. You'll get a trophy uh, and earned the right to host the conference tournament this weekend. Uh, you had to go to the wire to do it this past weekend. Always a tough trip in Tacoma. Uh, lost a hard-fought game at PLU on Friday night. And then just put together an all-around solid performance on Saturday against Puget Sound. Uh, take us back through the weekend and what you saw. Yeah, you know, the, the PLU game on Friday night, they played really tough. Um, we could not get anything to drop in the first half. It felt like everything just bounced off the rim and bounced off the backboard, then off the rim, then out. And um, So uh, it, I felt like uh, that first half we got a lot of good looks, even close-range looks that just didn't seem to go in. And then as the night went on, again, a team that was playing – uh, with a lot of heart and uh, got the confidence going. Um, we couldn't quite overcome it, so ended up with a close loss. Um, and then, uh, you know, unfortunately, JoJo got hurt at the very end of that game too, so that was um, kind of deflating emotionally, but we were able to put it together and, and like you said, have a really all, an all-around good performance on, on Saturday at UPS. Um, you know, I was really proud of the guys, the way that they – played with uh, great intensity and togetherness from the start. Our defense was really great that night. Um, and we got a lot of good bench production as well. And um, so we're able to do what we needed to do to secure the co-championship. And uh, thankfully with the tiebreaker, have the uh, opportunity to host this weekend. There was really a lot of pressure on Saturday night, knowing if you don't win that game, you lose the championship mm -hmm. more than likely. You lose the right to host, host mm -hmm. more than likely. Uh, talk about how this group was able to shrug that off and, and play confidently. Yeah, it's funny because I think I definitely recognize it as a coach, and I also recognize that it didn't seem like the team felt that way at all. <laughs> um, we had really great shoot-around and um, – Guys were pretty lighthearted, but they were really into, you know, focused into what they needed to do. Um, there was a lot of great energy in the locker room. I just feel like, you know, they did recognize that, that there was a lot riding on it, but they rose to the occasion. And kind of like I said before, the players kind of embrace that and, and enjoy it. And um, so I was proud of their competitiveness. Talk about the challenges now of turning around and having to play the exact same team you just played uh, on Saturday in the semifinals on Friday. Yeah, I think one of the challenges is just that, you know, we came away with the victory and then we're, we're turning back around and playing the same opponent. And you hope that um, your team, you know, uh, takes that seriously and doesn't feel like, oh, well, this time, you know, the last time around uh, we were able to handle them pretty well. Um, so... Uh, and then again, you're at the end of the year, so you kind of got to um, do the best job you can as a coach to make use of the time, be productive, keep everyone healthy, and, uh, and, and also with the right mindset to compete on Friday night. So there are some challenges that come with playing the same team back-to-back -back for sure. Um, but uh, again, you know, I think our guys are really excited about the fact that they get to play at home again. Um, in front of our crowd and you know last time we were out here our crowd was great um, so uh, you know I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll be up to the challenge. You've reached that point in the season that every team hopes for where every game now could be your last. Right. Uh, how do you think that this team is going to respond to that kind of environment? Same thing I think um, I, you know just like just like Saturday night I think they'll embrace it and um, they are competitors. They've proven that, and um, you know I'm hopeful they'll be ready to go. Uh, again, this is what we were, you know, if you'd have rewound to the very beginning of the season and said, "Oh, you'll have a chance to host and win two games to go to the NCAA tournament," um, every one of our guys would have signed up for that.